Uganda is experiencing rapid urbanization with increasing industrial activity, transportation needs, and energy demand, all of which contribute to rising air pollution if not regulated. In response, the government, in collaboration with the private sector, is promoting e-mobility in the transportation sector. We are entering partnerships. So we are partnering with the private sector to ensure that they invest in electric mobility. So what the ministry is doing is, one, ensure there is a strategy to support the electric mobility agenda. This one-of-a-kind electric motor vehicles charging station at Amber House falls under government's e-mobility and energy transition agenda, whose main aim is to reduce the carbon footprint. Uh, we set up some charging stations for border borders along the Masaka Highway, but also along the Gulu Highway to demonstrate and create and incentivize the population to adopt these uh, e-mobility solutions. We are working with Bordevac, which is now Gogo, and others like Zembo and the rest to ensure that we offer these solutions in the market, private sector-led, with the government supporting on the policy side. Earlier this year, the Kampala Capital City Authority collaborated with the private sector to establish a border border charging center at their offices in Ruvaga with additional stations installed across the city by Zembo companies. For, um, some, uh, you know, people who have been, in NGOs which have been working together with us, uh, like Zembo, um, that uh, started uh, by, started out on battery swapping. Um, we have a plant, for example, at Ruvaga Division. These charging stations are crucial investment in low carbon energy systems, reflecting KCCA's commitment to reducing carbon emissions and promoting green transportation solutions. The Minister of Health has uh, frightening figures of, of our pollution, what we inhale, what, you know, those are, so we have to look for ways of reducing on, on that pollution and those diseases that come as a result of using fossil fuels. Angola Allen, a worker at one of the stations, explains the process of swapping the motorcycle batteries. They operate on batteries, they don't run on fuel. So you swap, the swapping basically takes less than two minutes. Then you continue, it's not near, there's no need for you to wait for a battery to fully charge. It's just a matter of coming, swap, then you continue with your journey. Maweje Frank, the chairman of the Boda Boda community, speaks positive about the e Boda Boda initiative. Where you've been spending 20,000 for fuel, with an electric bike, you're only going to spend 7,000. I therefore encourage the Boda Boda riders to embrace this new technology. At one of the stations, we observed some of the Boda Boda riders being redirected to other branches to swap their batteries, raising questions about the system's sustainability. We, we shall remain intention on making sure that the public can access these places, uh, but at the moment there are few. Um, uh, there's one which was also set up on uh, Salama Road recently. So, The government is committed to expanding these electric charging points and encouraging the adoption of eco-friendly energy solutions in order to enhance energy security, improve air quality, and reduce greenhouse emissions, among others. Justin Nakami Faith Kayen in Kampala.